This January, Mazda revived the rotary engine. It wasn't exactly what we were hoping for as enthusiasts. It's a single rotor as a range extender for the MX-30 plug-in hybrid. But fresh patents coming out of Japan are confirming their continued research and work into reviving a sports car rotary engine. Let's get into it. <laughs> If you want the rotary to come back, smash the heck out of the like button and comment down below why you want it to come back. Maybe we can generate a little spark, a little flame for the rotary engine so Mazda can bring it back. Let's go. Now Mazda has six patents here, three of them in regards to the rotary engine, specifically when it comes to the design of the rotor. And then there's another three in regards to the intake system. And I'm not an engineer and I'm not going to, guys, look how long this is. Real time, not speeding it up or slowing it down. So I'll put these in the, the link in the description if you want to read about it. But really, it sums it up in the very, well, we could just say the summary. The object of the present intention is to improve the fuel efficiency of the rotary engine. Simple as that. And I'll go ahead and put the images on the screen for you guys. They have different notchings of the rotary. And this is a double rotary or a twin rotor, if you want to call it. This is what we see in the RX-8 and the RX-7. They, they at one point in time, I think it was in the Cosmo, had a triple rotor. And that would be pretty badass to see. But double rotor is what most of us would be happy with if they want to slot it in in an upcoming Mazda RX-9. Heck, I think a lot of people would be happy if they slotted a tiny rotor, twin rotor, into a Miata for S's and G's as well. These three slides make the most sense to me as the rotor's moving by. Um, and what they've done on the leading portion of the rotor is that they've dug out different depths. So the trailing depth is very, very shallow. The leading depth is fairly deep. And then you have this like bottom pit of the ocean here in the middle. So this is all to control the combustion to get a cleaner burn, a more efficient burn, a more powerful burn. And to oversimplify the second patent as well, we have two different depths here one pretty deep long one and then one shallower one on the leading edge my guess is that each one of these designs since they have three of them has specialties in different areas maybe one's better for torque maybe one's better now car buzz is the one that broke this information to us and they're all they also have additional patents on the intake system which isn't going to be as exciting we already detailed these, but the third one we didn't have images for. And check this out. Look at how long the shallow portion is. And then it goes into the deep end over here. So this one's more of the kiddie pool version. This one I would say is more of the water park because it has three different shallow or three different depths. And this one's more like the Gulf of Mexico off the, the west coast of Florida here where it's shallow forever. And then it still doesn't get that deep compared to the other oceans out there. All right, so for the second three patents, when it comes to the intake, well, we have exhaust gas recirculation, and supposedly the system can help suppress vibrations. Really, they're only mentioned in a single rotor, but they also say it could be used in a double rotor setup. The other two patents related to intake show how it attaches to the engine and the construction of the EGR tube being more rigid in a bid to suppress vibration of the intake manifold. I mean, if you've ever driven a rotary powered car before, there's not a lot of vibration to begin with. But if they make the rotary engine even smoother feeling, then it'll feel probably like electric motor smooth. At least you'll have sounds coming from the gods of Mount Fuji with this at nine, well, assuming it, it revs to 9,000 RPM, like the old rotaries. Now, I wanted to bring this up here because strangely, Mazda is teasing some old concepts. This is a Vision Coupe concept, which came out what was it like 2019, 2018, something like that. And the vision concept before that, which looked like the next rotary powered sports car, that was like 2016 or 2017, maybe even 2015. I'll put the dates up guys. I'll fact check myself. But what is Mazda doing? This was two weeks ago. This was their latest post and they're posting the vision coupe concept once again. This is such an old vehicle. Why would they be doing this? Well, they're, they're showing off Hiroshima's Mazda Museum. It contains a lot of history, of course, of their concepts, but also of their racing vehicles as well. But they say here, the intention of Mazda's craft is shown in the concept cars, one of a kind Goshin Tai sculptures, and even a bike. I mean, they, they, they show these sculptures here and where they get their inspiration from. But yeah, there's the standard vision concept. So why are they showing this? Maybe sparking false hope that we could get a rotary engine, especially in this red car. Let's go ahead and shrink 
shrink the, my face down so you can see this better. So this is RX Vision that still looks good to this day. And Mazda still never has brought, they brought it to Gran Turismo in GT3 form, but they still have never brought it to the market. And I know they're focusing on their crossovers right now. The Mazda CX-90 is pretty darn good. It's one of my favorite three-row crossovers out there. But this is the type of vehicle we would love to see a rotary inside of. They could easily put the rotors here to make it a, a front mid-engine vehicle, if that makes sense, where the engine easily sits behind the front tires here. I guess the Miata is kind of like that as well. I mean, something like this with a rotary engine, I don't think it would come to the market. It would have to be the inline six turbo or a plug-in hybrid, maybe if we're lucky, of the rotary setup. If Mazda came out with this design, in 2024, let's say in the next couple of years, would you guys be interested? Let me know what powertrain would you would want in it. There's the, the Gran Turismo variant of this car, which still was just like insane looking. And here's the Vision Coupe concept, which is kind of like a four door version, which likely would be the upcoming Mazda 6 replacement or the new Mazda 6, right? We can dream. This vehicle would bring so much happiness to it, especially if these cars came with the rotary and a manual transmission. It would be, you know, one last hurrah for Mazda before things go fully electric. And we can kind of see the Mazda 3 hatchback in the design of this car right here. And you have these two sex machines, by the, but side by side. I love that they have, well, at least a simulating of a manual transmission. I guess it's not because it has a neutral button up top, but it still looks awesome to have that shifter there, the wood. Mazda, bring these vehicles to the market. It's been too long since you showed them off and then you start teasing them again. I can't wait to see your comments down below. Do you think Mazda will actually bring these internal combustion engines in the form of a spinning Dorito back into the market? I think they have full intention of doing it before gasoline engines are outlawed. And if they can't do it in Europe, that means uh, it would exclusively either be for Australia and the United States or North America, should I say. But man, we can dream, we can hope, and Mazda keeps teasing us. It's been patent after patent for the last two to three years for the spinning Dorito and the next iteration of it. So my hopes and dreams are still high for it to come out. I'm not gonna give up hope because cars are getting, I guess I'm still really small, cars are getting so boring uh, with electrification. Yes, they're fast and smooth and nearly perfect, because they, you know, they're quiet as well. But my gosh, there's nothing that can make you feel like a great internal combustion engine, whether it's a V8. And what the rotary is for Mazda is like a solid, naturally aspirated V8 or a supercharged V8 or like a V10. This is their unique piece of history. And please bring it back one last time. I got into there. Thank you guys. Have a great day and peace. Mm -hmm.